Jesus opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Gentiles, like Molech and Baal, these are demons, Shedim in Hebrew. Paul, writing to the believers in Corinth, says the same thing. The gods of the Greeks, which came from Greek mythology, of course, usually associated with planets and um, with a zodiac configurations and things of this nature, are likewise demons. Paul using the Greek term demonoi. Demons are nothing more than fallen angels. Other gods do not exist as gods. They are demons. Even Satan's knee will ultimately bow to the Lord God Almighty. Every knee shall bow to the name of Jesus. Even the demons of hell are going to have to acknowledge his lordship and worship before they're cast into the lake of fire. What it is doing is saying that these other gods who people were worshiping, who the pagan nations were worshiping, and who backslidden Israel would worship, are simply elim, idols. But what they really are is fallen angels, demons, who will need ultimately to worship the one true God. The angels of God will worship him, we're told in Hebrews 1. But that includes not only the angels of God, it includes the angels that God created, even the demons, the fallen ones who followed Lucifer, are going to have to acknowledge Hashem, Yahweh, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.